Welcome to Using WordPress, creating an affordable website that search engines will love. Based off of the best statistics I've found, there are over 187 million blogs. People obviously love reading and writing blogs. There is little doubt then that a business that doesn't speak to its customers through blogging is definitely alienating its customers. In this day and age, it's very easy for a business owner, no matter how small, to create a website. These websites must build customer relationships while pulling in business from all over the world. In the past, business owners needed to rely on extremely expensive website design companies to build them a site. Those days are now in the past, thanks to a fabulous program called WordPress. WordPress is a free blogging toolkit that brings the power of internet blogging to the people. WordPress is the largest self-hosted blogging tool in the world, used on millions of sites and seen by millions of people every day. The goal of this series of articles is to help people get started with WordPress. It really is quite easy. There are two versions of WordPress. There is the blogging software you can use with WordPress at WordPress.com. This operates in a way similar to most social networking systems like MySpace, Facebook, etc. There is another version that you host on a hosting company such as GoDaddy or DreamHost. This version can be downloaded from WordPress.org. If this is a bit confusing, don't worry. The video tutorials will show you exactly how to set up both of these versions of WordPress. WordPress is so easy to use because it takes care of all the technical stuff. This allows you to spend all of your time writing. What's better is that WordPress allows you to easily create amazing tools and new web designs with ease. We'll get to them later. A few more reasons why WordPress is amazing. It installs easily. Normally, it will take no more than five minutes to install on a private host and less than that to install at WordPress.com. It helps you organize all of your articles in a logical manner. Search engines absolutely love WordPress websites. If you follow this tutorial, in fact, your Google page ranking will probably be even higher than if you actually hired an outside web design firm that did not use WordPress. WordPress is not just for blog websites. You can use it to create traditional sites as well. There are many pre-made web designs for you to pick from. If you want a new design for your entire site, you can have it in just a few seconds with no design or technical knowledge. Your customers want to interact with your website. WordPress provides you with easy to use enhancements that allow you to add bulletin boards, calendars, RSS feeds, video, audio, shopping carts, etc. It will block unwanted spam as well from your site. The difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. As mentioned before, a WordPress.com site is similar to a social networking site. It is hosted on WordPress computers, it is free for the most part, and extremely easy to set up. Almost every technical activity is taken care of for you, such as saving your content, blocking spam, added security, upgrading, as well as promotion. Let's go back to that free sort of comment. First, in my opinion, WordPress deserves every dollar that they make. I just want to make that clear. Either way, if you want to gain special benefits of WordPress.com, you must pay for the following, and these prices are as of December 2009. The custom CSS upgrade allows you to use your own cascading style sheets to customize the appearance of your blog. CSS allows you to change fonts, colors, borders, backgrounds, and even the layout of the blog. The cost of that is $14.97 per year. If you want to use a custom domain name that doesn't end with WordPress.com, you can either pay WordPress $14.97 to both register and host your domain for a year, or if you already own a domain name, they charge $9.97 for you to host the domain name on their servers. WordPress gives you three gigabytes of space to use for free on their computer. If you want more, you get five gigabytes for $19.97 per year, 15 gigabytes for $49.97 per year, or 25 gigabytes for $89.97. If you don't want WordPress to put ads on your site, you have to pay them $29.97 per year. There is a limited number of private users available to you. If you wish to buy unlimited users, Instead of staying at the standard 35, that will cost you $29.97 per year. Now, if you want to host your own site and control everything, the version of WordPress found at WordPress.org is the way to go. You will gain access to a larger number of web designs called themes. You will only be limited in size by your chosen hosting company. You will also gain access to a larger number of tools called plugins. 
Plugins give you access to such tools as e-commerce systems, a wide assortment of media tools, and basically anything else you can imagine. The negatives of hosting your own site include, you must pay a hosting site to host your site. Average cost being between $7 to $15 per month. It is more complicated to set up. Many hosting companies, however, set up WordPress for you. You're responsible for upgrading your software, and your site's uptime will only be as good as the hosting company you host on. Personally, I use GoDaddy for hosting, but there are a large number of other great hosting companies available to you. All that they would need in regards to minimum requirements to host WordPress would be PHP version 4.3 or greater and MySQL version 4.0 or greater. It's also probably in your best interest to install on a Linux rather than a Windows server. Best hosting companies include Bluehost, Dreamhost, Media Temple, and GoDaddy. In the next article, I will go into detail on how to create a WordPress.com account. You should do this even if you plan to host your own site to gain access to a program called Akismet, which is a great anti-spam tool, which is very important. An additional benefit to starting a WordPress.com account is that it gives you the opportunity to see if WordPress is right for you. Whether you choose to host on WordPress or from your own hosting company, the interface of WordPress is nearly identical. So if you learn how to operate a blog on WordPress.com, you'll know how to run WordPress on separate hosting plan as well. I hope this clears up any questions about WordPress. Next, I'll dispel any beliefs that WordPress is complicated to set up. If I missed anything, please tell me how I might improve the overall post, and thank you.